somebody shout guilty. Look at the person next to you and say, I don't mean any harm, but guilty. You cannot deny it. You cannot duck it. You cannot dodge it. Whether it's corporate or individual, whether it's commission or omission, public or private, it is still sin and God hates it. I said God hates it. He doesn't hate you, but he hates sin. Sin. What, what is it? What is it? Well, there, Seward Hiltner uh, spoke of it in three different ways. Talked about it being estrangement. Talked about it being rebellion. Talked about it missing the mark. And all of that's true. But when you get right down to it, it is just putting your will above God's will. It is self-will above God's will. It is disobedience at the core. And that's what sin is about. But it can be described in many different ways. And you and I know that there's all kinds of sin. There's, there's, our, there's our, our hating of one another. That's sin. As a matter of fact, Augustine said that that is the essence of sin, is how we, how we deal with one another, our hatred for one another. Our inability to love basically describes sin. When you cannot love your brother, when you get right down to it, every sin that you've ever thought about has something to do with how you treat your brother. I don't know who I'm talking about right now, but, but gas prices, that's sin. Mm -hmm. A bunch of crooks robbing every single one of us in the, oh God, it's, it, that's sin. Uh, Iraq, sin. Afghanistan, sin. How we got in, why we're there, sin. People in closed doors, behind closed doors, making decisions to, to, to take our boys and girls across the world based on stuff that has nothing to do with anything really except their own agenda. Sin. War is sin. Murder is sin. Violence is sin. Jealousy is sin. Hatred is sin. Gossip is sin. Do I have anybody in here that will 